Hello guys, and this is going to be my first video recording Minecraft. And I've tried doing this before, but I've always failed at it, because I can never find the right screen recording program, but I'm not going to get into that. Anyways, so you may not know what I'm doing, because I, as you know, this is my first video. But I am making a Minecraft series of modded Minecraft. And... Right now, I'm just rejuvenating an area that I kind of blew up using a plasma cannon, which is a, if you don't know, an item that is still in test mode and has no texture for the... What's it called? Um, hold on a second. Mine Factory Reloaded. Or no. Where is it? Industrial Craft, that's what it was. Sorry. Um, anyways. It's a testing item for Industrial Craft, and that was loud. Anyways, I'm rejuvenating the area because apparently those things have a really big blast. And so, yeah. Anyways, from here I'm going to be, once that finishes, I'm just going to be going over to my base. And this is my base for agriculture. And that's called music. Hold on one Sorry about that, um, I forgot to turn off this radio. Alright, there we go. I have to remember that next time. And there's another one. Ugh. There we go. Alright, now we can go. And I do not know what I did here. That's kind of awkward. Oh dear, that's not good. We don't want to go there because that's a dangerous place. Let's check on our bees. Actually, before we go and check on our bees, let's just erase our inventory, and let's set up some stuff that we can take the stuff out of the bees. Hi, babies. I don't know. Like I said, the first video, really bad at this. Okay. Now, I want this to go under here. This, right, right here, this is an import bus from Applied Energistics and basically what it does is it can take stuff out of anything that you put it on well I think anything you put it on and import or export buses you can already guess it put things in anyways I just recently installed a mod called ICBM which adds in mechanism which if you're wondering it's a really, really, really awesome mod. It adds in this thing called the BitBot or Robit, that's what it is. And if you ask me, I have to say the Robit is a pretty overpowered little buddy. Because basically, he just is very loud. Let's rename him. And if you don't know where I'm getting the name for him from, then you need to watch Etho, your Etho's Lab, his Feed the Beast or Crack Pack videos because he names his um, robot Seth Wing. And you'll get the, um, no, I can't tell. You'll get the quote later. Anyways, he should be following me. Are you coming? Here he comes. Anyways, so, let's set up our solar panel. There we go. That's going to generate electricity over here. But we do need one over here. Or a couple at least. Alright, we have just enough space for three. Right? Somewhat. They have a little bit of a hum to them. I never really noticed that. Alright, um, apparently their hitbox is a non-passable one. Now, um, that's awesome. If you're wondering why I need so much power, it's because this Applied Energistics base, which I'm baking, Applied Energistics takes a very, very large amount of power. I found that out in my last row, which I lagged out to death to the point where I could not play it anymore. Anyways. 
like, seriously, this thing takes so much power. Like, it takes 301, on my last roll, took 301k per tick, which is a millisecond, I believe. Oh, ghost I just like, forgot to hit this. Anyways. I forgot to put Flans mod in, but I'm not going to worry about that right now, because it crashed me the last time I used it. Okay, those are loud and annoying. You don't need windows after all. There we go. Um, power. No, not power. I mean, um... Wire? Nope. Um, how about... Conduit? from Ender I.O. And um, Ender I.O. is another one of my really, really favorite mods. And I'd have to say, it is really, really good. And whoever created that mod worked really hard on it. You may think it's a simple mod from the way you look at it, but if you think of how much coding you have to put into this, it takes a long time. Anyways, so, I'm just going to run this down into here, <coughs> excuse me, and, darn it, can't get in the door. And yes, I know many of you are wondering, why is he doing it in creative? What's the point of doing it in creative? It just defeats the purpose. I'd rather do it in creative because for me in survival, it takes way too long for any of the items to get into your inventory. And for you to be able to get these items, it's just not right how long it takes. I don't believe in it, it's just not right. Anyway, so. Um, how does it take power? I haven't used these in a while, so excuse me if I'm really bad at this. I think the last time I used these was when I did a series on, well, an unrecorded series on a server called Hexit. I believe it's called. It's either Hexit or Techit. I did both of them now. And anyways, so... I believe that it's taking power now. And also, sorry about the camera. Um, I'm using my phone right now because I need to buy a recording app on my computer in order to record my screen, and right now it is not possible at the moment because I just can't find one that works with my computer because I have an older PC or HP same difference anyways okay those actually give me a decent amount of power 10,000 10, E A E yeah. and as you can tell we have a pretty small section of our area for this because we needed the bees but now that we have the bees and this, it's an okay setup. Um, where is the storage bus? There it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, now, we need to hook this up to there. And that is not rain, that is a sprinkler, don't worry. We're just going to run this around the corner to a and I mean, sprinkler. chest, which we're just going to set up a single double chest, or two double chests if I can fit. Yeah, we can fit that, no problem. In there. And there we go. And then we're just going to run this. Am I using dark cable? No, that's any cable. Never mind. We're just going to run that underground. Now, I have tried recording before, but I've found, like, every time I record, it stops recording when I, like, leave the window for recording. And then I find that I'm talking to myself for an hour. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to do this video for an hour because that's quite a long time and I don't have that much time at the moment. Hopefully I can do an hour video when I get more subscribers, but for those of you who want to subscribe, 
go ahead, not saying you need to, but I have maybe 10, 12 subscribers, or if they left me, zero. And that's only because I've uploaded some childish videos when I first started this, and I feel kind of bad for doing that, cause, just because it's kind of putting my channel down now, because it just not really... Um, I can't talk today. Anyways, let's just get back to this. Um, where am I? Alright, we fell in a hole from... Okay, let's just fill that up. We need to find our cable again. I am just going to tear up all this ground until it comes. There it is. Now, it's going to be kind of annoying when I do this because I do have OCD with the even and uneven areas, although I can always deal with it if I can't see it. Now, for those of you who don't know, I get my most of my references from watching people on the server called the Cra uh, the Minecraft server. And the creator of that server, Good, he's an amazing guy, and if any of you are on that server that watch this video, then props to you, you guys did an amazing job with that server. And so... I liked your cra I liked the Crack Pack server mostly because I like to play with mods, and me being one of those people that likes to code mods and install lots of mods, and you're gonna need to get out of the way, something. And, um, yeah, that stuff, I find it really intriguing to see a bunch of people playing all these mods that I've played for so long. And I know it sounds kind of odd that if I'm a coder for mods, or I'm not really a big time coder for mods, I've coded a couple of big mods before. I'm not going to explain which ones they are, but I've done a couple of them, and, but it's only small things in them, like the buildings for them, or the look for the liquid, or the type of texture for the blocks. Mostly I'm more of a texture, mil texture build person, but anyways, it's really intriguing to watch these people playing on servers with all these mods, and building big structures using them, and using them to their advantage, the way I've tried to use them, and it's just really fun. Okay, it's going to be dark down here, and we're going to need a magnet torch to keep anything from spawning. Okay, I've talked a lot. Anyways. Okay, let's place another one right there. My... There are two people on, from the Crack Pack server, or Minecraft, Mind Crack server, that I watch mostly, and that is Vintage Beef and Etho. Etho is my favorite one because I've watched him the longest. And if you haven't seen Etho's Let's Play, you really need to see his Let's Play, because his stuff that he does on his Let's Plays, he makes amazing builds, has done so much with Redstone, I cannot believe how much he's done. And it's just awesome how much he does in his spare time with this game, just to please us. Anyways. So. Props to you, Etho, for being an amazing guy and helping us get ideas on Redstone and that awesome world that I've downloaded before. I have to say, you worked really, really hard on that world, if you're watching this. And for any of you that know how to download worlds, you should download his world. It's not really the easiest one to download because you have to go through a bunch of websites to get it. But it's an awesome world if you can figure out how to get it. I've tried it out. I've played with the redstone. And I have to say, he's done awesome in that world. And here... So, let's go check out our chests. Alright, it is taking the bees, which is not a good thing, because we kind of need the bees in.